At the Fukushima nuclear complex, radioactive smoke billowing from one reactor and a power outage at another has some Japanese calling this Japan's Chernobyl. The blast at Unit 1 destroyed the outer container when the cooling system failed after workers released radioactive steam to ease the pressure. Four workers were injured. Japanese officials said an electricity outage early Sunday morning at another reactor in the same complex, Unit 3, caused another emergency. Without power, the cooling system failed. Workers are trying to restore power and prevent the worst case, a meltdown. Japan's nuclear safety agency is saying more than 100 people could have been exposed to radiation. But Japan's Prime Minister, Naoto Kan, insisted everything is under control. Still, government officials are playing it safe, doubling the size of the evacuation zone around the plant to 12 miles and scanning everyone for radiation. Three evacuees are already being treated for excessively high radiation levels. Seventy miles away from the explosion site, the reactor's shadow still looms large. Roads are badly damaged, so some here endure a grim wait to secure plane tickets. Amid reports of a possible nuclear meltdown in Fukushima, this tiny airport is much busier than normal, with Japanese military flying in and local residents attempting to get out. The aging Fukushima reactor had been scheduled for retirement in just over two weeks' time. But critics have argued for years that an earthquake-prone country like Japan should not maintain 54 active nuclear reactors. The poisonous smoke lingering over Fukushima has led some here to wonder if they were right all along. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Fukushima, Japan.